Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome back once again to the correct views. Okay, look. Guns, guns, nothing but guns, tons of guns on this show. My best work on that is still Bob Costas was right. Go back and watch that video. Look, guys, this is starting to get to the point now, like the abortion and the gay issue was, to where... I don't even do them on my show. No gay people should not be allowed to get married. They should have equal benefits, but you cannot force a church to embrace something into its religion that it does not wish to do, which is what the word marriage does. Personally, I don't care what two men do. Don't try to go ahead and tell me that every church has to listen to it. Um, abortion is a state issue. That's it. That's why you don't see it on my show. However, this is big and the Second Amendment matters. So we're going to do an entire show on guns, and then probably we're going to take a break from guns next show. How about that? <sighs> we do what we need to do, and this is important. We will render you obsolete. Anonymous attacks Westboro Baptist Church over plans to picket Sandy Hook funerals. I wasn't going to start off the gun show with this article, but uh, Christelle wanted me to do it. There was some buzz on Facebook of people wanting me to do it. Okay, let's do it. It's a very good story. Um, Anonymous is a collective of, you know, there's not a leader of Anonymous. There's no king. There's no president. There's no CEO. So sometimes they do things that you don't support. By and large, most of what Anonymous has done, I've found that I've supported, whether or not they're, uh, you know, a front for the government. Who knows? You know, really, who knows? But I, I'm in favor with them once again. As the county grieves uh, for the families of Newton, Connecticut, where a crazed gunman killed 20 children and 6 adults at Sandy Hook Elementary on Friday, members of the Westboro Baptist Church have announced their intention to picket the funerals of the deceased. This is the tweet that Shirley Phelps Roper came up with. Westboro will picket Sandy Hook Elementary School to sing praise to God for the glory of his work in executing judgment. It's the wrath for fag marriage. Do you understand that this is the kind of thing that gives Christianity a really bad name? And I am a Christian. They were sacrificing children in Sodom and Gomorrah. And they tried to rape an angel in Sodom and Gomorrah. It was not only homosexuals more than any other sin that brought it all down. And do get that through your head, people. The woman whose profile picture features reading Thank God for Dead Soldiers and A Soldier's Die for Fag Marriage, she's so poetic, must have never read Psalms, writes multiple times shortly thereafter that God sent the shooter to punish Americans for various sins. I think she's crazy, and I think uh, maybe God sent Anonymous to punish their sins. Um, Anonymous has had enough. <laughs> they really have. According to MSN Now, the Hackers Anonymous released the private information of Westboro Baptist members online, including phone numbers, professions, birthdays, known relationships, home and email addresses, and they say, and I quote, since your one-dimensional thought protocol will conform not to any modern logic, we will not debate, argue, or attempt to reason with you. Instead, we have unanimously deemed your organization to be harmful to the population of the United States of America and have therefore decided to execute an agenda of action which will progressively dismantle your institution of deceitful pretext and extreme bias and cease when your zealotry runs dry. You know what makes me even happier about that is that they didn't go ahead and blame, blame all Christians as being nutcases. They know who the nutcases are. Uh, it mentions in the video that many of the people affiliated with Anonymous are not anti-Christian or uh, evil in and of themselves. Um, more gun news. Kurt Nemo, Infowars.com, piece of garbage. Uh, sorry, Feinstein. Same thing. Feinstein vows to introduce assault weapons ban bill. California State Democrat Diane Scumbag Feinstein, a renowned and notorious gun grabber and enemy of the Second Amendment, targeted America's gun culture in the wake of a deadly rampage in Connecticut. We all know I'm not going to finish. I hope and trust that the next session of Congress there will be sustained and thoughtful debate 
about America's gun culture and our responsibility to prevent more loss of life. So of course to these people, it, it saves lives to not arm people against criminals, but just let the criminals have the guns. Because there's no way to stop criminals from having guns. Feinstein has exploited the shootings, it says, in the past as part of her ongoing effort to attack the Second Amendment. She wants to bring forth legislation on the back of a tragedy simply for the fact that there was no other time to do it. And I know I've heard about the Sandy Hook thing in Batman. I, I need more proof. But for those of you that don't know, uh, Sandy Hook is uh, a name that is written in the beginning of the Batman movie. Of course, the Batman movie where the other idiot shot people. Um, was it some kind of a trigger through uh, MK Ultra, something like that? Uh, those of you that have seen the Manchurian Candidate, the original one, will know what I mean. Um, I don't know. But I do know that whether or not, <clears throat> and I stopped short of saying that it was, um, whether or not it was MK Ultra or whether it was uh, simply a disaster, just like Rahm Emanuel, she's exploiting it, trying to take the rights away from you and I. The point is this. Guns save lives. And I will be getting to more on that in just a moment. This is from the American Dream. Listen to this quote. Um, I just love this. Chicago has some of the strictest gun laws in the entire nation. So they are perfectly safe and everyone walks down the street comfortably. That's not what it says. Chicago has some of the strictest gun laws in the entire nation. The intent was to greatly reduce gun crime in the city, but instead, Chicago is now being called, quote, the deadliest global city, and murder rate is about 25% higher than last year. That, Miss Feinstein, is what happens when you take guns off of law-abiding citizens. Uh, correct views, uh, that's what you're listening to, I am Sam I.B., and it is brought to you from the Arcadia Grill, located in downtown Canton. When you do your shopping, do it locally. Check out the Buzzbin. Check out some of the really cool shops downtown. Buzzbin is somebody that supports my band, Passing Time, and we support them. While you're down there, check out the Arcadia Grill, because their food is absolutely delicious, wonderful. They have uh, an entire like wall of... Um, not only delicious, but very well displayed alcohol. They have the best Italian bread I think I've ever had. Go to the Arcadia Grill. Um, this is from KGW.com. Clackmas Mall Shooter Weapon. Clackmas Mall Shooter Faced Man with a Concealed Weapon. Remember I was telling you that an armed society is a polite society, and that the more guns you have, the safer you are. Let's not lose track of the fact that the murder rate in this country is down in every single state that has allowed concealed carry. That is fact. Um, listen to this. Portland, Nick Milley is emotionally drained, and the 22-year-old was at Clackamas Town Center with a friend and her baby when a masked man opened fire. I heard three shots and turned and looked at Casey and said, Are you serious? He said. The friend and baby hit the floor. Milley kept pulling and said Milley. I'm sorry. The friend and the baby hit the floor, said Milley. He kept pulling and charging the handle, hitting the side of it while Millie hid behind a pillar, that would be the gunman. The break in gunfire allowed Millie to pull out his own gun, but he never took his eyes off of the shooter. As I was going to, down to pull, I saw someone in the back of the Charlotte move, and I knew that if I fired missed, I would have hit them, he said. Millie took cover inside a nearby store. He never pulled the trigger. He stands by that decision. And I'm not beating myself up because I didn't shoot him, said Millie. I know after he saw me, I think the last shot he fired was the one on himself. The gunman was dead, but not before taking two innocent lives with him, it says, and taking the innocence of everyone else. I don't ever want to see anyone that way ever again. Two things you need to hear about that article. One, he never wants to see anything like that ever again. He didn't like that. He wasn't a hero. He didn't feel like he was some badass. Now, I'm a G, yo. I'm going to get some bling and listen to some Usher, get some Kesha. No, he hopes he never sees anything like that again. You know why? Because people with guns are not all crazy. You want to know what else? 
people say, oh, well, you know, there's gonna, you, you can't have like an old Wild West shootout. If everybody has a gun, it'll be like the Wild West. No, he had a shot and he didn't take it. Why? Because it wasn't a clear shot and it would have hit somebody else. That is the correct view. That is why gun laws protect us. Um, this is from... All right, this is uh, Steve Watson. And this is a, a point in this article that I, I do want to mention here. This is just great. The National Safety Council notes that guns are used some 2.5 million times a year in self-defense against criminals, meaning that firearms are utilized to protect innocent lives in 80 times more cases than they were used to end lives. Mathematical fact. Feinstein. Um, this... So, uh, this, this frustrated me to no end. i got two more articles I'm going to go to. If I'm talking fast, my battery light's telling me that my data card is full. Um, social media users spreading false information about Sandy Hook massacre could face charges, say police. Daily News. Listen to this piggy. And uh, for those of you that think I'm being disrespectful to cops, go over my videos. When cops are great, I praise them. This isn't a cop. This is a swine. Connecticut officials cautioned against the spread of false information on social media sites in the wake of Friday's massacre. Anyone who posts fake material about the rampage at Sandy Hook Elementary School or Killer Adam, and I'm going to leave his name off because I refuse to make him a household name on this show, could face arrest. Connecticut State Police spokesman El Lieutenant J. Paul Vance said at a press conference Sunday, because he's God. There has been misinformation coming from people posing as the shooter in this case, using other IDs and mimicking the crime scene. Let me ask you something. And he goes on to say the pompous thing. All information relative to this case is coming from these microphones, he said. You can take your microphone and shove it up your ass. That's what I got to say to you. And I got news for you. The reason they're saying false information isn't because they can't track whether somebody's faking or not. They're saying that because there's reports of a second shooter here. Just like there was in the movie theater. There's reports of someone being taken out in camouflage in handcuffs saying I didn't do it and it wasn't the Adam shooter. So maybe that's what they want to block. Is it a cover up there? Swine! Because I'm going to report on it whether you like it or not! Jerk! You want to come after me? Bring it on! I know how to call a lawyer to you, little jerk. Alright, uh, check this out. Um, if, we don't, if, we, if we don't band together here and look at the logic of this, then we're going to be sitting ducks. We either realize that the more guns we have, the safer we are, and the more likely we are to be protected if a crazy person decides to break already existing laws, you know, like, say, against murder, and start shooting us. Maybe somebody with a gun will be there to limit the death toll, or we can leave the crazy people to be the only ones who have guns. You are listening to The Correct Views. Thank you for doing so. Please donate if you can, because every penny that you give me goes right back into this show. And I'm working on getting all of my graphics up. I got the camera. I'm busting ass here, people. It would make one hell of a Christmas gift. And speaking of, Merry Christmas. Good night and God bless. Thanks for listening.